40 miles east of Juneau on a flat glacial outwash plain filled with sloughs, willows, and moose is the community of Gustavus. The frontier spirit lives on in this little hamlet of several hundred year-round residents that serves as the doorstep to Glacier Bay National Park and its collection of tidewater glaciers. Whether you're a fisher person, photographer, birder, kayaker, or wildlife enthusiast, adventure is just a hiking trail, boat ride, or kayak paddle away. Gustavus and the surrounding woods and waters are home to diverse wildlife communities. South of the Gustavus Forelands, Icy Strait provides some of the most nutrient-rich waters on Earth, calling in a treasure trove of marine life from sea otters to 40-ton humpback whales. There's several ways to explore this watery road. For centuries, the residents of this region have moved along these waters via paddle. Today, it's the most intimate way to explore Glacier Bay and Icy Strait. Encounter humpback whales on their terms and at eye level. If you'd rather be higher above the water, whale watching tours depart daily from the Gustavus Dock for Icy Strait in search of humpbacks and on lucky occasions, the iconic orca whale. For the year-round resident, fishing isn't just a hobby, but the most reliable way to put up food for the winter. If going home with some food of your own sounds enticing, charter fishing companies operate throughout the summer for halibut, salmon, and rockfish. Or set out on your own up the Bartlett River in search of your own private fishing hole. Back on land, Every bend in the road or trail can hide any number of recognizable critters. Big land mammals such as moose, brown, and black bear are frequent neighbors, as are coyotes, wolves, and porcupines. Gustavus has much more than wildlife and vistas. The year-round population may be small, but the community is home to many talented artists. In the center of town is the Fireweed Gallery, a hub for coffee, crepes, and local artwork. You can try some locally roasted coffee while perusing Gustavus's artists, authors, and even locally made goat milk soap. But chances are, the reason you've come to Gustavus is for the glaciers. Over the last 200 years, Glacier Bay and the surrounding area has been slowly rebounding from the crushing weight of ice that at one point covered the entire bay. While the glaciers may not be as accessible as they were when John Muir visited in 1879, there are many ways to reach glacier country. Local taxi service provides transportation for the 20 minute drive to Bartlett Cove the nerve center for activities in Glacier Bay. On your way, stop at Gustavus's version of Costco. Known to locals as Toshco, you can find all the groceries, hardware, and outdoor equipment for your trip. In Bartlett Cove, you'll find park headquarters, including the Visitor Information Station, where you receive permits and orientations if you plan on camping in the park. Glacier Bay is shaped like a big Y, with Bartlett Cove near the Y's base. Today, the glaciers are in the arms of the Y, with most of the remaining tidewater glaciers in the left, or west arm, 60 miles from Bartlett Cove. The easiest way to visit the Ice Age is aboard the tour boat Baranoff Wind. It departs Bartlett Cove every day for the 60 plus mile trip up Glacier Bay to visit the Marjorie Glacier and drop off kayakers looking to craft their own slice of frontier living. For countless generations, the Huna Tlingit have called Glacier Bay homeland. Today, they live in the nearby village of Huna, 
but returned over and over again, drawn by ancestral connections. In recent years, the tribal government and the National Park Service have partnered to protect and share the history, traditions, and life ways of the original inhabitants of Glacier Bay. The Huna Tribal House, built on the shores of Bartlett Cove, is striking evidence of that collaborative effort. Designed to reflect the traditional clan houses that once lined Bartlett Cove's shores, the Tribal House serves as a gathering place where all are inspired to learn about Tlingit culture. Every visitor will want to explore the elaborately carved and painted house and totem poles. Cultural interpreters invite visitors to reflect, discover, and learn in this treasured space. From sightseeing, to fishing, or simply enjoying the silence, there's no shortage of ways to make your Gustavus visit unique and personal. However you choose to enjoy this little slice of the frontier, you can expect the unexpected and an adventure you'll remember for the rest of your life.